How's it going everyone? My name is John. Uh, I ordered the 3.5 EXR whole house fan from Airscape. This is going to be my review and installation of the unit. So just to kind of give a brief overview of what came with the unit, came in three boxes, came with a big flex duct, a big fan. The video kind of doesn't do it justice, but you get an idea of how big this fan is. It's quite large. You also get the automatic dampeners, uh, some boxes that's going to make into the plenum box. I got the washable grill filter. I also got the wireless kit, make installation a little bit easier. Some more pieces of the plenum box. And then of course the box with all the mounts and screws and whatnot and the instruction manual. Uh, I'm just a simple DIYer, but uh, I think this installation would be pretty easy. If you look, all the electrical connections are just simple plug and play. Same with the fan here, plug and play. So I don't think the installation is gonna be too difficult. I think the only hard part is going to be, which is probably what everyone else is going to have the problem, is where to actually put the fan. In my case, I want it to go up here, but I have a uh, stick roof, so getting up there is a little bit harder than it sounds. I got the uh, air conditioning and whatnot up there, so finding room is going to be fun. So uh, I'm going to start putting this together, and I'll chime back in every once in a while at all the major steps, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks. All right, so I just finished building the plenum box. Everything went well. Uh, it took me about two hours to build it. Um, everything was nicely labeled, so all the parts were easy to find. Only recommendations that I would have is, first of all, use a magnetic screwdriver. The uh, screws are really teeny and they're kind of a pain in the butt to hold. Also, be very careful with the plastic rivets. If you hit it wrong, you could snap them, so you don't want to do that. Majority of the time, took put, putting on the uh, tinfoil tape. Kind of took my time on it. There's a lot of it on the inside as well. As you can see, that takes a little bit of time. That probably adds a good hour to it. And also my only little qualm is that they gave me not quite enough tape to use. So when I was putting on the collar, I had to cut it in half, which it's no big deal, it covers the seam, but regardless, probably could have used an extra couple of feet of tape. But uh, either way, it's built and time to cut a hole in the ceiling and find a place for it. All right, so I just got finished with the installation. Uh, for me, it didn't take too long. Uh, it's all going to kind of depend on what you're installing it in. Like I said, I got a stick roof or a truss roof, so my space was a little bit limited. Also, I have a floor over right over the center part where I was going to install it downstairs, so I ended up having to cut up this floorboard. But everything worked out pretty well. As you can see, the fan's installed. Like I said, I had to cut a hole, and it sits right on the joist of the truss. Uh, the only thing to note is that these trusses are made out of 2x4s, and they said the fan needs to sit on a 2x8. I'm not quite sure if that's required or not, but either way, on my 2x4s, I put 2x6s. It's a little bit over 2x8, but it doesn't seem to matter as long as you caulk it up and it seems pretty good. Uh, for me, I had to run an extra power line over here for the plug, but not really a big deal. Uh, again, it kind of depends on your situation on what you got to do. I got the fan hanging right there, hanging from the rafters. Got four chains on it, if you can see them. And like I said, it's pretty easy to plug in. You got the cat cable coming from the fan, the towel to turn on. That goes back here in the back. That's the green wire. The red wire is the wall plug, uh, the, the wall switch that is. And then the blue is the remote control, which is right here. And then the two units plug in right there. Like I said, pretty straightforward. You know, hook it up, put the tape around it, and uh, everything's good. So go downstairs and I'll show you what it looks like from below and what it sounds like. Okay, so here's the whole house fan from down below. As you can see, I got the washable filter. That's what it is hanging down there. Uh, if you didn't get the washable filter, it'd just be up on the ceiling permanently and you'd have to unscrew the uh, eight screws to get the whole unit down. So kind of figured this is a little bit easier in case I ever had to access the bottom of it. I don't know why I would, but just in case. This is the actual unit from down below. You can see the two dampers. I got the uh, insulated ones. The non-insulated ones might look a little bit different, but it's pretty much what they look like. You can see my two by fours and the two by uh, six is sitting on top and then um, that's just all the framing and stuff for the truss. I painted it white because I kind of figured when the door is closed it'd be a little bit less obvious to see the wood up there. Uh, that's pretty much looks like everything is caulked as you can see so you don't want to be pulling in attic air you want to be pulling in actually house air and then dumping it into the attic. So uh, I'll put this together and we'll turn it on and see how loud it is. Okay so here it is all buttoned up you can see it's pretty big. I got the 3.5. 4.4 is the same size, I believe. Um, it is it is large, but it's a utility, so you can get over it. So anyway, I'm going to turn it on via my wireless remote right here. 
and you can kind of get an idea of how loud it is. And it is quite quiet. So here we go, there's seven speeds. This will be opening the dampener doors and speed one. So I'm not even sure if the phone can pick it up or not, but damper doors are opening. That's a bus in the background, that's not the doors. They're so quiet you probably can't even hear them. And believe it or not, the fan is on speed one right now, which is pretty low speed. So let's kick up the sound a little bit. Speed two. Damper doors are still opening. I'm gonna let them open up all the way before we get any higher so it doesn't uh, dampen out any of the noises. Still got a little more to go. All right, and the doors are fully open. We're on speed two. Speed three. Speed four. Speed five. Speed six. And I can definitely feel a draft already, and I can look at the curtains, and they're all blowing in. And speed seven. So this is the maximum speed that I'll ever get. And it might sound a little loud on the phone, I don't really know, I'll have to go back and listen to it. But if you just go in the other room a little bit, it's pretty darn quiet. And honestly, when you get into the bedrooms or anywhere except for the floor that we're in right now, it's very quiet. So I'm definitely impressed with the sound. There's no vibration at all. The ceiling's not making any noise or anything like that. So all you really hear is just the air whooshing by more so than anything else. So I just want to give my closing thoughts on the whole installation. Uh, as with just about everything, you say something's going to take an hour and it ends up taking two or three hours. I thought this would take probably two or three hours, end up taking probably the better part of four or five hours. Not really any problem to the fan. It's more specific to the installation that you're doing. You can kind of see this in my aftermath of all my parts. But again, it had nothing to do with the fan. If you got a pretty straightforward installation, it should really take only a few hours at most. I don't, I don't really foresee any problems. Uh, I do like the unit. It's great. It's quiet. I can't fault it for that. Um, I want to retract one of the statements that I said earlier. I said they didn't give enough tinfoil tape uh, when you were making the plenum box. It turns out they did. It was separately packaged with the actual fan itself when you when you cover up the uh, the venting. But there was so much extra you could have used that. So. No fault of them. That was just me getting a little haste in my building process. Um, also, I definitely got to give a shout out to Airspace, um, or Airscape rather. Uh, I got the vent. The vent came in uh, scratched, and I, I hadn't noticed it when I came. I know they always say double check the packages when it comes, because when the carrier comes, if there's a problem, then you're going to have an issue claiming with them. But, um, you know, it must have gotten damaged in packaging or whatever. I called Airscape and immediately they sent out a new fan grill for me. Uh, that wasn't an issue. And then also, once I had it all installed, it turned out one of my damper doors didn't open. I kind of had to give it a push to open it. And again, I called them right back and within minutes, I had a new solenoid shipped out to me. They gave me the option of sending the whole unit back and they'd fix it free of charge, obviously free shipping, and they'd send it out to me. But... Since I had already installed it, I didn't really want to take it all down and then wait and put it all back together again. So I said, send the solenoid out itself and I'll try it and see what happens. And the solenoid was held in by two bolts. It was really easy. Pulled it out, put it back together. Everything worked great. And then uh, sent the package back so they can check and see what was actually wrong with it. So it's good that they're following up on that. And I can attest that their warranty period is, is good and their claim process is very well. So all in all, Airscape is great. 3.5 is also very good. As long as you have, uh, was it 24 inch on center uh, studs, it's probably pretty easy to do. If you have anything else, you might have to do a little bit of digging, but it's good stuff. So uh, everything's good. Good stuff.